my God. <laughs> calm down, Chichi, calm down. Calm down. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is not funny at all. This is not a child's play. Imagine coming back home only to meet my door unlocked. The door that I locked before going out only to come back meeting my door unlocked. I mean, I have never been this scared before in my life. What? What? How did this happen for Christ's sake? Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Calm down. Calm down, Chichi. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, today I am not smiling. I am not smiling at all because... I need an answer to what happens today. Imagine coming back home so happy that I have done the business of the day. Only for me to come back. I tried to open my door. I was like, what? What happened? My door was opened. Meaning my door was unlocked. I was like, what? That was when a thought just came to me that, what is going on? Is somebody in my home? Did someone break into my house? Oh my God. So quickly, I ran downstairs. I was just busy looking from downstairs to my third floor to see if I would see anybody coming downstairs or maybe someone that would open my door and close it back. I mean, I was so confused. I was like, oh my goodness. I was just downstairs. I was panicking. I died 911. And then I was like, do I press the button, the call button? How about if I press the call button and it happens that no one really entered my house, but maybe I forgot to lock my door. I was like, what do I do? What do I do? In the midst of the whole thing i was just praying inside my heart that at least somebody should just walk past <laughs> oh my goodness for close to 30 minutes that i was downstairs not even one person walked past god i was just there wishing hoping that someone should just walk past so i can tell the person that my door was open i don't know what happened so the person can at least follow me upstairs oh my goodness not even one person walked past. So finally, I summoned the courage to come upstairs. God in heaven knows that it was a mixture of fear and courage in me. And of course, the fear outweighs the courage, you know. So I got upstairs, third floor, which is my own floor. And when I came upstairs, I just opened the door and I was like, who is there? But no one answered me, <laughs> you know. Of course, my body, my two legs, everything were still outside. You don't expect me to enter. <laughs> Oh my god you don't expect me to enter my house at that point in time so when i asked from the door from outside my door you know my door was open and i was like who is there is anyone inside of course there was no sound but you know when you're acting in fear everything would be like a sound to you you know i wasn't sure of what i heard but i heard something like a sound again and i just jammed the door and as quickly as possible again i ran back downstairs <laughs> i went back downstairs and Again, I was just under panic. I still caught in my heart. I was just praying that I should just see at least a passerby. A passerby. And I wasn't comfortable downstairs. I really needed to go upstairs. And I gathered the courage to go upstairs. So when I got upstairs this time around, again, I just opened the door. And I was like, who is there? No one answered me again. And then for some second, I did not hit the door back or jam the door like I did the first time. I just, you know, opened the door and I asked again and no one answered again. And also I listened. This time around, there was no noise. There was no sound from the house. Wow. The door was still opened. Of course, my hand was still holding the door. One leg was inside at this point in time. I summoned courage. I put in the second leg. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean... I'm glad that it's a story right now. But when it was happening, it wasn't funny. When it was happening, it was not a story. When it was happening, I was under panic attack. I was like, what? What is going on? You know? So I entered the first room that is closest to the door. And I checked inside quickly. And no one was there. I entered into all the rooms in the house. And I quickly checked. And 
no one was there and i entered my sitting room no one was there i went to the wardrobe section i just flipped through my clothes and no one was there no one was hiding there i was like excuse me what's going on of course my heart was still beating so fast at this point in time i was like does it mean that i did not lock my door before going out i remember quickly that i kept some money in my bedroom i went to the place that i kept my money guys my money was still intact everything i kept was still there the same way i left them before i went out of my house oh my goodness oh my god <laughs> that was when it dawned on me that the house i did not lock my door you know i was like how could i have made that kind of mistake thank god for good security system because i don't know what would have happened thank god that everything was intact the way i left them because should someone have broken into my home oh my goodness i don't think i'll be smiling right now i don't think i'll be happy you know so i'm glad that everything i left in the house was the same way i left them i met them that same way so guys maybe just maybe i was actually the one that forgot to lock my door but in my head i thought i actually locked the door <laughs> but i am grateful for good security system i am grateful that no one took advantage of that to enter the house and take something i am just so grateful and i am so happy that i can share it with you guys as a story so guys thank you so much for taking out of your busy time to watch this video i will sure see you guys in the comment section as well as see you guys in my next video keep flourishing stay out of trouble keep doing your best and just know that you watching me you are you are simply the best thank you guys god bless you all